Thank you very much. Uh, let me first of all welcome you and uh, tender our appreciation for this effort, the strength you have been putting and the support you have been given toward the eradication of this polio. Not only in my mother country, Nigeria, not only in my state, Bauchin, but as the, in the world as a whole. Uh, I will personally commend you for the effort you have been doing. We all know and we are all aware the unfortunate incidents of folio in this our mother country and in the world. And we appreciate the mere fact that the world is particularly concerned in eradicating the folio itself. As you must have been aware, the reason why you come over to this place is simply because you had wanted to actually eradicate this. And uh, I appreciate the fact that you have come down to my state, Bauchi State, having identified that truly there is the uh, polio here in, the, in, in Bauchi State. Truly there is. We have identified about five local governments that are actually high uh, risk. These are Katami local government, Ningi local government, Ganjua local government, Bauchi local government, and Alkaleri local government. To this end, the government is actually working hard, working tirelessly to make sure that folio in the state is being eradicated. Even if there's anything the state can do, it must make sure that folio is being eradicated. Uh, to this end, what we have done our responsibility as the executive governor, Mala Isai Guda, has given the directives that the next time we'll be going to see him, in respect of any health activity, we must make sure that we are reporting uh, that we have completely eradicated for your state. The only way we can go about this is to make sure that wherever the problem is, we should go in deeply to make sure that we solve the issue. Fortunately, we have gone around this local, these five local governments. I have drafted a team of senior officers in the ministry, and actually we are up and doing. We have been with them since the commencement of the exercise to make sure that we are checking, we are following, and we are part and parcel of the exercise. To this end, we were lucky because a lot of the challenges we have before us were actually being displayed. The community leaders, the religious leaders, the uh, officers in charge have come together and we have sat down, we have identified most of the things. Some of the challenges that have been actually um, uh, disclosed were the simple fact that the religious and community leaders whom we thought had more influence in the exercise than any other person actually were pleading with us to make sure that the awareness campaign is being intensified. And we have taken much more step to make sure that it is known. Secondly, they pleaded with us to get closer to most of the communities so that it is not only at the period of demand that we should go to them to look for them for, for their assistance so that they ask their people to come in for the polio. Thirdly, they have opened up and confessed that truly folio, they, they, they are aware that folio is in existence. And one thing they would want to uh, confess to us, they know that there is no sickness without medication. This is, I was highly impressed when I had this information because hitherto the problem we were having is they find it difficult to accept. But now it has been accepted. It is now left for us to go uh, uh, back to drawing board to see what and what are we going to do to make sure that this has been eradicated. So fortunately, we sat in, in, in company of all and sundry, in company of all the stakeholders, and it has all been agreed that one, we are going to embark on massive campaign, two, we are going to recruit more and more professional people to handle the, the, the exercise and the professional people will have the technical skill to convince people and then we are equally going to draft 
and work collectively with community leaders, with religious leaders, so that at least wherever it is difficult to change the attitude of people, they will help and uh, aid and abate us actually getting across from it. And I am absolutely certain with this exercise, it will go a long way in actually eradicating the, the problem. And uh, you have to understand this. Um, even in this local government, we, ident we have identified some of the words that are actually being difficult to get along with. And actually we are in speak uh, talking terms with their word heads so that actually they will collect them, we we'll sit down, we we'll explain to them actually the implication of these things. The most important thing is actually they have accepted.